Hey there, YouTubers. Um, this is Tony. Um, I am doing a video for the ham radio operator guys. Um, a lot of guys, uh, first when they first get involved with uh, uh, amateur radio, um, they get a, they get what they call a technician's license, and that's the entry level of ham radio. And a lot of people they can't afford the expensive, very expensive equipment that uh, that a lot of uh, you know veteran uh, operators have. So what I'm taking off here is a an adapter. Uh, it's a SMA female to SO239 uh, coax. So I'll I'll explain more about this in, in, in a few minutes. But this is basically the radio that gets a lot of ham operators uh well at least now get uh, get them started get them up on the air to uh to get them talking it's a cheap i paid 25 dollars you know including shipping on uh amazon prime for this uh for this particular radio and it comes with uh, a rubber ducky antenna and that's the main purpose of this video is i'm going to give you some show you some options that you can use for um and antennas and uh, this is basically this antenna is basically good enough to get you about two three miles, five miles at the max if you got good good visibility, good you know with almost no instructions in between you. But uh, that's that's what the uh, radio comes with, and you know it's not much. It's what we call the rubber ducky. Now this antenna is a. Uh, Come on, camera, focus. I'm trying to get this camera to focus. Anyway, it's a Nagoya uh, 8, I'm sorry, a Nagoya NA771. Um, if you can read it, I'm trying to get this camera to focus here. Yeah, it's all right. Anyway, this camera's not focusing. It's a Nagoya NA771 VHF UHF. It's a, it has a little bit higher gain than the uh, the than this uh, rubber ducky antenna. And it, you know, it's also SO2. Um, I'm sorry, not SO239, but the uh, SMA female, which just basically screws in. And it's a lot longer, you know, by far than the. Uh, than the actual radio, probably I mean the, uh, the the antenna that came with the radio. But um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you another uh, option, which is which you have to have an adapter with. Um, like I said, this is a uh, SMA female to SO239 connection, and you just screw it in like so. And uh, you have to have an, another antenna. This is this is what uh, this connector is for. Is this is what this is uh, what this uh, connector can uh, hook up to? Which is a PL239. Now, with this adapter, you can connect to any mobile um, antenna that's uh, rated for uh, two meter. 70 centimeter uh, bands and um, what I got this wire hooked up to now is a, a Jetstream uh, JTB3 uh, dual band antenna it's got a uh, pretty good range this the, this antenna with this uh, radio I can get roughly 20 miles uh, of transmit you know and good you know full quieting as far as uh, com you know as far as talking with other hams and uh, you know, for 25 bucks to get started on a ham radio, not a bad deal. Um, now, I also uh, made a, uh, before I bought the uh, Jetstream antenna, I made a uh, quarter wave ground plane antenna, which I connected some uh, coaxial cable to, and also used this, use this connector. And this ground plane got me about 15 miles, and I was using that for a while. And... Uh, I will provide I'm, I uh, I will provide a video on how to make one of those uh, quarter wave ground planes. It's really simple and it's really cheap, and uh, it's uh, pretty simple to do. So, with that, I will say, have a great day, and I will uh, talk to you at another time.